Here we go with the start of the fight. Monstrous uppercut by the Beast. The Cooler with a good jab in front of a hard left hook. A few jabs land. The jab always a great way to set up your offense. Those two punches land squarely for the Beast. The Cooler connects with a looping hook. The Cooler's going to work with two solid shots. Technically solid two-punch combination. Good two-punch combination from the Cooler. When you're a fast fighter, you have to use it. If you go inside, you better make a short visit. The Coolers tried to jab upstairs. If you want to examine a textbook style, then there you have it. Good defenses and offensive skills. He looks determined to make the jab work for him. Beautifully executed three-punch combination started off with a hard hook up top. The Cooler with a big counter that looks to stop his opponent in his tracks. He's gonna need to do a better job of avoiding those combos from the cooler. He's looking to take the initiative with that jab. The beast moves forward behind that two-shot combo. He goes to work with those two punches. He looks to score with that two-shot combo. He's tagging his face with the jab. The cooler connects with a good jab. Precise doubling with the jab. The cooler displays his hand speed with that combo. He throws a loose and easy jab, looking confident in there. Could you imagine if every round turned out like that? There were a... Oh. You can look a lot better. Let's see how things go with round number two. Always on the balls of their feet, very light. You can just tell this is a speed-style boxer. His right eye is beginning to swell. Good punching by the cooler. The Coolers ripped his opponent with three hard shots. That counter hook does big time damage for the Beast. Surges forward behind that combination. Sharp punch looks to stun his opponent. Jab combo there. Hard counter lands flush for the Beast.
You need to be smart, really mix things up against a balanced opponent like this. It's unlikely one strategy will work. The cooler displays his hand speed with a series of jabs. Sensational counter punch by the cooler. The bees served the combo and both punches nailed their targets. Nice jab by the cooler. Rocked by that two punch combo from the cooler. He's feeling the feeling of being caught. You can see that he's hurting now. He's sluggish and he seems to get weaker every second he stays in the ring. I don't think he's going to be on his feet much longer. And if he lets himself get tagged with one more big punch, it could spell disaster for the beast. The ref only threatens to stop a bout if one fighter is showing an obvious inability to defend himself. If he could defend himself and stop taking so many hard shots, the referee wouldn't have to step in. Jab combo lands flush for the beast. Lands up top. This round's nearly done. We've come to the end of the round. As we come to the close. Here we go with round three. The cooler's popped by two hard shots. The cooler's thrown a nice jab that lands on target. Here comes two hard blows from the cooler. Jabs with accuracy and speed. Looking good with that combination. Good jab in front of a solid right hand from the Beast. The Beast with a jab and a straight right hand. He assaults him with a powerful body blow. The Coolers putting combos together and looking to throw more than one punch at a time. Scoring with a sharp, stinging shot. Nice punch. He can make the jab be a very effective weapon. The Beast slams his opponent with two hard shots. The Cooler's thrown a great jab that lands flush. Solid right hand followed by a hard left hook. The Cooler's big uppercut crashes into his opponent. That jab has the potential to be a determining factor in this fight. He doubled up on the jab. It could be a short night of work if he can consistently land combos like that. Ha! <laughs> 
The Beast weathers that big shot. He's in great shape. Snaps out the jab. The Cooler with a nice clean jab combination. Two hard punches slam into him. The Bee shoots a hook that finds its target. The Beast showing good form as he throws a jab combination. Snaps the jab out there. First the hard right hand, then the left hook comes behind it from the cooler. We're coming up on the end of the round. He needs to watch out for that straight jab. That bell signifies the end of the round and the halfway mark of this fight. Let's look at the replay of another round dominated by the Beast. Relax. Breathe easy. And let's be... Now that's what's... The bell sounds and we're off with round number four. He's giving maximum effort in this fight. He's going into each and every round with his mindset on outworking his opponent. So far, he's done it. He's thrown more, landed more, and right now his effort is allowing him to dominate the fight. Sting in combination for the cooler. A right uppercut from the beast. The cooler's attack for the power punch. The Beast taking the best of that exchange as he lands a hard counter. The Cooler caught a straight jab. Good strategy, you should always try to work off the jab. Hard straight right hand followed by a good hook from the cooler. He returns fire and lands a punch of his own. been popped with a solid blow. The Beast's counter whacks his opponent. That's the kind of punching that's good to see from any fighter. He's taking a beating here tonight, and he's looking pretty damaged now. His legs aren't steady anymore, and if he gets hit with one more big punch, he's gonna go. The B scores up top. The B shoots a jab downstairs. The Beast is doing all he can to stand up. He's in real trouble, and the crowd roars, begging for a knockout. He needs to protect himself better, or he's going to get caught with counter hooks all day. The cooler with a series of jabs. Setting him up with a few jabs. Smooth counter. Great hook. The Beast with a hard shot that finds its target. Solid combination for the Beast. Down to the last 10 seconds of the round. Truly that round was exactly
exactly what his corner wanted to see from the beast. The beast might just have this fight in the bag. Let's look at how he died. The bell sounds signifying the start of the fifth round. The Beast was counting on his corner, and they didn't come through. Good execution, doubling up the jab by the cooler. He comes forward with the jab. Great jab work there from the cooler. He's not just settling for one punch at a time. He's looking to land combinations. The Beast scores with a sharp jab. He's demonstrating well-rounded skills. Capitalizing on many countering opportunities. Doubling up with the jab. Vicious blow dished out by the beast. The cooler spin him with an uppercut. Jab to the body, absorbed nicely. can sense that he's on the verge of collapsing. I'm seeing a KO for the cooler. like he may be destined to drop. The Beast looking good, coming back with great counters. Such a close round, they matched each other every single step of the way. The Beast was fighting pretty even with his opponent throughout that last round. Why don't we take a look at some of the more interesting... Even the great... Now that's what I want... This is it. The final round of the evening. His corner team seems inexperienced by the way they patched him up. Those two punches seem to have got to him. Taking the 
the initiative with that two-shot combo. He's determined to land punches and flurries. Taking care of business, countering effectively and doing damage. His great balance allows him to come back with a hard hook. The beast seems to look very strong with that punch. Hard hook thrown by the beast. with a powerful shot to the dome. He's on the verge of being knocked out. This is do or die for him and his corner. The Beast's health and energy are playing against him now. Will he make it through the round? Without question, I'd say that was a better round for the winner by majority decision. The beast. Get ready, cause today we gonna pump some iron. I couldn't ask for more out of you right now. So just keep doing what you're doing. Player, you looking like a G today. You feel that? That's what it feels like to be in the zone. Maintain that feeling, kid. You shaking and begging today, baby.
I like what you're doing, player. Keep doing it. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're almost home. Five, four, three, two, one. Today you brought a smile to an old trainer's lips. I Things are about to get underway here in round one. <laughs> Always on the balls of their feet, very light. You can just tell this is a speed style box. Crushers topped by two hard shots. <laughs> Solid right hand and hard left hook. Crushers caught a straight jab. He gets rocked by a three punch combo. When you're a fast fighter, you have to use it. If you go inside, you better make a short visit. with a good jab. <laughs> the cooler with a series of jabs. <laughs> the cooler's thrown a nice jab that lands on target. The Coolers showing off a hard left hook. Rushers eating a nice jab to the face. Hard right hand left hook combination. First the hard right hand, then the left hook comes behind it from the cooler. Right uppercut, left hook combination. Lobber uh. <laughs> by Crusher. A jab and falls up with another one. Crusher shoots a hook that finds its target. Hard counter uppercut. Crusher with a good punch there. Crusher scores with a sharp jab, and with 10 seconds left... <laughs> Crusher owned the ring for that round. Crusher will not relent and just keeps winning rounds. Let's examine how he took that last one. <laughs> 
Forget about losing this round. Just like that. Let's get going with round number two. You can parry a speed guy's punches. It might just give you that opportunity to land some shots and slow him down. He doubled up on the jab. Nice punch. He can make the jab to be a very effective weapon. Nice jab by Crusher. When your adversary can move like this guy, you have to try to cut the ring off. Get him on the ropes, unleashed to the body. The Cooler's thrown a great jab that lands clutch. The Cooler displays his hand speed with a series of jabs. Jab combination lands flush for the Cooler. The Cooler's able to do some damage with a hard power punch downstairs. Snaps out the jab. The Cooler's putting combos together and looking to throw more than one punch at a time. The Cooler's lit up by that great counter hook. Digging body blow. Shoots a counter hook. Crusher thrown a nice jab to the head. The cooler moves forward behind that two shot combo. opponent's gonna throw before he throws it. He's not just settling for one punch at a time. He's looking to land combinations. Stinging combination for the cooler. The jab always a great way to set up your offense. This round's nearly done. That round was exactly what his corner wanted to see from the cooler. This fight is starting to look more and more like a mismatch. Let's take another look at some of the better moments. Now that's what's up. You. Even the great ones lose rounds. Here comes round number three. When you miss repeatedly, have all your shots blocked, or get leaned on in an unnecessary clinch, you're just gonna wear yourself out. Case in point, look what's going on in the ring right now. He eats a straight shot to the head. The cooler with a nice, clean jab combination. Good two-punch combination from the cooler. Pops him with the jab to the head. Hard straight right hand followed by a good hook from the cooler. 
Rushers return fire. The cooler's been blocked by a hook he never saw coming. He looks worse for wear after that thumping blow. Jab combo lands flush for the cooler. Snaps the jab out there. left eye is beginning to swell. He needs to watch out for that straight jab. The cooler displays his hand speed with that combo. Jabs with accuracy and speed. Landed two jabs there. He sticks from the outside and lands a jab. No! Crusher's probably going to start protecting his left eye now that it's starting to swell. A jab, then a cross finds its home. A jab upstairs. Clean counter punch from Crusher! Let's see if anything happens here in the last 10 seconds. Looks like this round is over. Of course, we still have half of the fight to go. There's the bell signaling that we're halfway through this incredibly close fight. That was a close round. You look great out there, player. Breathe deep. You can't win every round. Here we go with the fourth round of what's been a great fight thus far. Crusher's Huntman is simply inexperienced, and that'll have an effect on this round. The Cooler will simply not let an opportunity to throw a punch go by in this fight. So far, that strategy is paying off for him, as he's been able to control the tempo of this fight by being the more active fighter. He comes forward with the jab. The left eye looks a bit swollen. The ref only threatens to stop about if one fighter is showing an obvious inability to defend himself. If he could defend himself and stop taking so many hard shots, the referee wouldn't have to step in. Crusher has got to realize he's in real trouble now. The ref only threatens to stop the fight when he sees one fighter is in a severe amount of danger. Crusher comes back with a heavy counter shot. He looks determined to make the jab work for him. Uh. 
good strategy. You should always try to work off the jab. Crusher's left eye is starting to show signs of abuse. A few jabs land in rapid succession for the cooler. This round is nearing its conclusion. There's the bell, signaling the end of the round. That was a very well contested round. Let's take a look at some of the more compelling moments for Crusher. Calm down, breathe in. We'll get him next round. Oh. Call that wind deep into your lungs. Relax. Here we go with round number five. Crusher <laughs> was counting on his corner, and they didn't come through. Nice effective body punch. Yeah. You'll start to see the effects of those punches as this fight goes on. to work with two solid shots. <laughs> Scoring with a sharp, stinging shot. That jab has the potential to be a determining factor in this fight. Nice one-two lands there. Good three-punch combo. Looks like his training is paying off. The cooler's got to work on protecting himself after he throws, or he's going to continue to get tagged with counter shots. The cooler's looking to control the rhythm of the fight with effective countering. Solid jab sets up the right hand to the body. Oh, he's in a world of trouble now. You can see the hurt in his eyes, and his body looks like it's about ready to completely give out on him for Crusher. If you're gonna come
come straight forward, will step back and counter. Without question, I'd say that was a better round for the cooler. Hey, the replay doesn't lie. He was simply dominated in that round. Sit down and fill your lungs up. That's what we need to see every time. I know that round didn't go like the final round of the night is ready to kick off <laughs> the cooler is able to crash his jaw with that one the cooler's left eye is definitely showing signs of swelling he's gonna need to do a better job of avoiding those combos from the cooler He's taking the initiative with that two-shot combo. Counter hook sends shivers down his spine. He's just got to find a way to survive till the end of the round. He's looking like he could go at any moment, and whatever he does, he just has to avoid getting tagged right now. Rusher's legs look weak. Can he survive the round? Wow! Crusher's done as he's put down for the first time.